Hey everybody, well, it's been a while since I posted a video, but um, the weather's been kind of crappy, And uh, but we did uh, get a chance to go camping a couple times. We did a, a two-night stay, and we did a three-night stay, and we did find out some stuff about the camper that needed modified, so today I've been working on making those modifications. The first thing that we decided that we needed to do is we needed to get air conditioning in this thing because it was really muggy in there, and even with the fantastic fan in there uh, blowing air through there, it still was very hot and muggy. So uh, we made the decision to go ahead and eliminate the passenger seat. My wife and I have never actually had anybody ride in the passenger seat. We always take two cars because we want a car to be able to drive around in when we're camping. So we always take two cars anyway. So we decided to take the passenger seat out. The other uh, thing that we were having trouble with is we didn't have any place to put our bedding and so now we will have some storage down here in order to store all of our bedding pillows and uh, blankets and everything our refrigerator will pack out here just like it did on top of the passenger seat and I installed this 8000 BTU portable air conditioner so what I was able to do is I was able to install this portable air conditioner I went ahead and ran the exhaust pipe down through the bottom of the van and you can see under there where the exhaust exhausts out the bottom. There's also a hose under there where it exhausts the water. And so the hose actually is back there. It's kind of a little bit hard to see. But there's a hose back there that also goes down through the bottom and exhausts the water out of there. I went ahead and made this trap door here so that I can access this if I ever have to get into this uh, exhaust or water place to actually do any work. I can actually get in there and uh, work on that. So here's the way it looks when the refrigerator and some of the bedding is in there now. So we've got plenty of room for the bedding. The refrigerator packs in just perfect, just kind of just pretty close to the way it was before. Now we have the air conditioner. The air conditioner has a remote control so we can uh, run the air conditioner from anywhere in there. I did put a second circuit in for the air conditioner right behind the driver's seat. You can't really see it there, but right behind the driver's seat there's a second circuit for the air conditioner so it's running on its own breaker. The refrigerator runs on its own breaker and the microwave runs on its own breaker. So everything's on individual breakers. This air conditioner is only rated to run eight amps. So on a 30 amp service, we should have no trouble running that air conditioner all the time. So that's it. That's some of the stuff we've done to the camper so far. I'm going to throw some pictures up here at the end so you can see some pictures of us actually camping and the camper set up and everything. But uh, next time we take it out, we should have a nice, cool sleeping arrangement at night. And I think that's going to make uh, a lot better. The bed is really comfortable. There's plenty of room in there for me and my wife. Other than not being able to ride together, I think that's the only issue we're going to have to deal with. But other than that, this thing has really turned out nice and we're pretty happy with the, the way it's worked out. So you guys take it easy. Until I see you guys again, happy camping.